So we've got these two lovely cabbage trees up by our front, uh, our front gate and they've been shedding all their leaves and making a mess and I was trying to whack down all the grass and stuff around here and you know their leaves keep getting tangled. Now these make great fire lighters. You can, you can actually just pull these brown ones off straight from the plant or just grab the ones that have fallen off the floor. I'll show you how we do it. Train Aston how to do it too, because he hasn't done this before. Three, four. We want, we want about five of these. You want to gather up another five, Aston? We're just going to bend these in half in a big bunch. And we grab one more. Right, get the other one, fold it in half. And we're just going to tie this around these. Just like how you'd normally tie a shoelace. Sort of simple knot, boom. We can make them short and stubby. Clint's just saying he wants them short and stubby. That's fine. Fold it up again. <laughs> can make short stubby ones. Just a matter of having them hold together so they don't spring out of the fire while you're lighting them, I suppose. There we go. Yay! <laughs> so, We'll light them later on tonight when it gets cold. It's pretty nice today, but I know the temperature's gonna plummet tonight. Put them in the fire and we'll show you how well they do. Okay, I am back. I'm just going to do a demonstration of stacking the fire up, how to put them in. Here's a couple I did earlier. One important thing to note is that the ones that we got off the ground just before, I'll, I'd actually leave them for a week or so before using them because obviously we got them straight off the ground. It is winter, the ground's a little bit damp so they do need some time to dry out. So these ones are completely dry. So I'm going to stick these in just to demo because if I demo the ones we just uh, collected then I'm going to look really silly. So <laughs> I'm pretty good at doing that by myself. Go shove these in the fire and I'm going to show you how well they act as a fire lighter. Now you can use these just on their own. You can use them alongside um, pine cones. The pine cones are pretty good for fire as well but you do need a bit of paper or cardboard or something if you're using pine cones. So with these, you don't need to use any newspaper, but you can, so, but I'm just gonna use these on their own just as a demo. So I'm just gonna put these at the very bottom. Obviously you get, you know, you get little escapee bits, just make sure they're nicely tucked under, you don't want them flicking out. And I'll just load the wood straight on top of them. 